everyone can use advice for saving money. The idea of saving money is usually ingrained into the average person's daily routine. The rich and the poor alike think the idea of saving money a great one. For some, it's just a game and for others, it is a matter of survival. Minimalist living is a philosophy wherein one of the byproducts is living more with less. Maybe you can benefit from minimalist advice by saving money. Just imagine cracking the code and being able to save those hundreds and even thousands of dollars by applying some tricks. We will be exploring 5 life hacks for saving money, so let's get down to business. Maybe you can benefit from the minimalist lifestyle advice by saving money. Decluttering advice saving money 1. Declutter room by room. Go through every room in your home. Evaluate each item you come across by asking yourself a few questions. Ask if you really need that item? Does it bring joy to you or someone else in your home? Ask if the item is just taking up space and causing clutter in the room? When you find items that do not pass the test find ways to repurpose or get rid of them. Someone else may find value in the items you no longer have a use for. Give, donate, or sell those items. You may end up with a little extra cash and a cleaner more tranquil home. Also, a clean organized home adds value to your home when it comes time to sell. 2. Don't forget to clean out those closets. You know the routine. Follow the same steps you did when decluttering the rooms in your home. You will reap similar benefits. The added benefit that accompanies a clean and organized closet is less stress and more time saved getting dressed in the morning. Just think how great it would be to have all of your choices visible in their proper places. Save time and money not purchasing duplicate items just because your closet is not organized. You found last year's winter coat, no need to purchase a new one. 3. Repair clothing instead of replacing it. Many people look for excuses to spend money and replacing clothing is at the top of the list. Buying a new jacket may seem appealing but mending the lining of the one you already have is better. Don't replace clothing because of minor damage. Simply use a needle and thread to repair missing buttons and torn clothing. Stains are usually not as big of a problem as they seem. Use these tips to better take care of your clothing. Finally, clothing that is beyond repair may be used as cleaning rags, repurposed, or replaced. 4. Sell your collections. There are two types of collections I am referring to. The first group of collections are those items people enjoy as a hobby and believe may increase in value over time. These collections should be evaluated. Decide if there is still a true interest and if the possibility of future riches is real. If you still find joy in collecting the items and they still add value to your life keep them. If they no longer add value and are just taking up space and your time maintaining them, donate or sell them. The second type of collections I am referring to are those items we collect just in case we may need them. We all have been there. There are drawers, closets, garages, and attics filled with junk we keep just in case. Do yourself a huge favor and get rid of that stuff. Most of it cannot be sold because it is junk. You know it. Junk. An extra piece of wood we may need one day. Some extra fabric we may be able to use. Broken items that are saved for parts or nostalgic reasons. Clothing that will never fit again or will never come back in style. Get rid of it. Minimalist shopping advice saving money 5. Master the 10 second rule. Use that 10 second rule to avoid impulse buying to save money. Whenever you are out and about and find the desire to pick up an item for purchase wait for 10 seconds and ask yourself why are you buying this item? Do I really need it? The answer is usually no. If so put that item back and save money. If you practice this over time it will prevent you from picking up unnecessary items to purchase. You will begin to ask yourself that question as soon as the urge to purchase raises its ugly head. Shopping trips should always be planned and you should always have a list to save money. Stick to the shopping list and the need to practice the 10 second rule will be unnecessary.
Entering a grocery store or a shopping mall without a game plan will end disastrously. Some of the world's brightest minds spend untold thousands of hours and billions of dollars figuring out ways to separate you from your money. They have a game plan and if you enter their field of play without a game plan of your own you will lose. Losing is not a big deal but if it happens regularly over time your bank account will begin to suffer. Know what you are shopping for and only purchase those items. 7. Carry a few large bills with you. Carry cash and a few large bills. Avoid using credit or debit cards. The use of credit cards and the joy of delayed payment play an important role when we decide to overspend. Buy now and pay later. When I say pay, I mean to pay in the suffering sense. Carrying cash will undoubtedly save money as you associate the pain of making purchases immediately and your wallet instantly feels lighter. Carrying large bills will help you avoid making small impulse purchases because of how uncomfortable you and the retailer may feel to break a large bill. The most important benefit of caring for large bills is to maintain the ability to pay cash when a purchase is necessary, an irresistible deal presents itself, or a minor emergency. Credit and debit cards should always be carried for necessary purchases and emergency situations 8. Always Product Comparison Shop Do you use product comparison sites like Consumers Report, Wirecutter, or Pricegrabber? It always helps to compare the best products in each category and go for the lowest price for the most value. As a result, you become more educated about the product as you save money. This can also have the effect of the 10 seconds rule to save money. Remember the lowest price does not always mean you are getting the best value. 9. Master the 30-day rule. To avoid instant gratification being the inspiration for shopping and overspending wait 30 days before purchasing an item. Believe it or not, after 30 days have passed, you will find the urge to purchase has passed and you will have saved money. There are homes filled with once the latest and greatest items collecting dust after a few months of use. 10. Avoid shopping to feel better or as entertainment. It's easy to engage in spending money to feel better or to eliminate boredom. The best way to avoid this practice is to replace this action with something else. When you are triggered to shop to feel better, relieve stress and boredom do something you enjoy just as much. Go for a walk, play a game on your phone, or go exercise. Anything else. Be careful not to replace one potential problem with another, like going out to eat. I made this mistake and ended up spending just as much money and suffering minor health consequences. Boredom eating is real. 11. Buy used whenever possible. I have been practicing this and love it. The local Goodwill store has become my best friend. Even buying an older model of an item new yields great savings too. I will never buy the latest model of cell phone again. I enjoy last year's model or the year before that just as well. The Mills at Jersey Gardens is a mall in my area that houses outlet stores from the largest retailers. Last year's models serve my needs as well or better than the latest and greatest. Shop thrift shops, consignment stores, and outlet stores to save money. 12. Sometimes it's better to void the mall. If you feel you don't have the willpower to resist the temptation of the mall you should avoid it. The mall is an advertising and marketing mecca. I am always amazed at the amount of money spent and the complexity of the advertising infrastructure of malls. That is one of the reasons I avoid malls other than to eat a meal. Why torture yourself walking through a mall while on a tight budget or trying to save money? Find another source of entertainment. Minimalist advice saving money at home 13. Look for a cheaper place to live. I know looking for a cheaper place to live may sound a little harsh but humor me here. Why struggle and indefinitely lower the quality of life paying high rent or mortgage? You may be able to get off that tortious treadmill with just a few simple tweaks. Whatever you find so great about the high-priced place you live in the cost is lowering your quality of life and may not be worth it. Would it be possible to visit that special thing when you felt the need and live more comfortably? I am sure it's a small portion of your daily existence.
It's nice living a less stressful life with a little disposable cash in the bank. It sucks having no money left over after paying bills. 14. Buy a water cooler. This is a simple idea but the wheels should be turning in your head. Now that you are thinking about it you should be calculating how much money you can save by doing this. Many people spend a fortune buying bottled water. I regularly see shopping carts and car trunks filled with the stuff. Over 75% of the Earth's surface is covered by water and that is why I still have a problem paying for it. Buying a water cooler will pay for itself and save you money for years to come. Use the water for cooking and fill aluminum water bottles to avoid plastic BPAs impacting your health on the go. Just count the ways of buying a simple water cooler can save you money every day. 15. Install a programmable thermostat. Installing a programmable thermostat is a no-brainer if you would like to cut down on energy usage and save money. The programmable thermostat will save money whether anyone is home or not. Set it to heat or cool your home at certain times to maximize saving while at work or asleep. Depending on the capabilities of the programmable thermostat you decide to purchase there could be many other cost-saving benefits. 16. Start an urban garden. Growing your own food to save money is a no-brainer but almost no one does it. If you have an outdoor space this is something you should explore. This advice saving money can lead to health benefits, producing fresh healthy food for your family. If you are like many minimalists and have limited space you should consider growing an urban garden or starting a community garden to save money. Gardening can be an inexpensive hobby whether you have a yard or not. It is also great for bringing family members and the community closer together. 17. Frequent the library? When was the last time you visited the library? The library is not just a place to borrow books. This is a great free place to use the internet, watch or rent a movie, rent free Kindle books, and a place to meet people. The library is a great source of free entertainment. Did you know many libraries allow you to rent Kindle books free of charge? 18. Use public transportation more. Wait, don't turn your nose up at the idea of using public transportation. If you live in a larger city think about using public transportation more. Can you use public transportation to get to work? Can you use public transportation to get to the important locations, entertainment, shopping? In your area? If so you may be able to purchase a transit pass to save even more money. It would be great to arrive at work without the added stress of dealing with driving, traffic, and parking. With the money saved from using public transportation more and a transit pass, you could be traveling virtually free of cost most of the year. 19. Spend more time with family and good friends instead of going out. Even the most simple planned night often snowballs out of control and blows up your entertainment budget. Avoid going out on the town altogether to save money. Once out on the town, there are too many variables, pressures, and temptations to overcome to stay on budget. As a result, it is better to plan entertainment at home or visiting friends and family to save money. Regularly plan get-togethers to socialize, play cards, watch movies, or have dinner. You will save money and create more great lasting memories. Minimalist advice saving money eating better 20. More home cooking, less restaurant meals Everyone loves to go out regularly to their favorite restaurants and enjoy their favorite meals but who can afford it? It's all fun and games until the bill comes. Even if you could afford it there are better things you can do with at least some of that money. You can still enjoy meals out every once in a while but why not get the ingredients and learn how to cook your favorite dishes at home. I see you are smiling just thinking about the idea. It will be fun and you can always have pizza delivered when things go sideways. 21. Get an instant pot. The Insta Pot and Slow Cooker are arguably the best way to reduce cooking costs by feeding your family. You can drop low-cost meats and or other ingredients in on your way out the door and return to a full cooked dinner at the end of the day. You can just dump in your ingredients before work, put it on simmer, and dinner is done when you get home.
Who would not like to save money and time in one action? There are countless nutritious food combinations and recipes to keep you happy over the years. Can you say leftovers? Yummy! 22. Eat a satisfying and nutritious breakfast. Don't skip breakfast. Eating a satisfying and nutritious breakfast fills you up with the fuel you need for the day while also curbing your appetite for an expensive lunch. Something like an inexpensive bowl of oatmeal in the morning can keep you from running out and purchasing an expensive lunch later in the day. Just imagine how much money can be saved not impulse buying meals while looking forward to your Instapot dinner. 23. Eat less meat to save money. This may be insulting to the already budget conscious but it has to be said. Eating meat is more expensive compared to eating fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, and grains considering their nutritional values. As a raging carnivore, I hate to say these alternatives to eating meat offer more protein and the single biggest way to reduce our impact on Earth. You don't have to become a full-fledged vegan or vegetarian just eat less meat to save money and the planet. 24. Drink more water. Drinking more water will save you money and the health benefits can prolong your life. Keep a supply of fresh water with you when you are out and about to avoid paying the high price for it and other sugary drinks. Drink a big glass of water before each meal to stay fuller longer and eat less, stay hydrated, and feel better during the day. I always believed free tap water is just as clean as bottled water. I use a simple drinking water tester to confirm this and use tap water for even larger savings. Conclusion I hope you found my minimalist advice saving money tips useful. I use these and many other tips daily to assist in money. Many of them incorporate into my daily routine as they have become a way of life. If you have any tips, tricks, or advice on saving money share in the comment below. Also, let me know your favorite tips. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on the subscribe button. Please visit the description for even more life-changing information.